whatever. There are many reasons to wear a mask. Sometimes it is to protect us. Sometimes to protect others. Sometimes it's to hide our secret identity. In any case, wearing a mask changes us in some way. Our true self might be hidden, if only for a moment, and we can experiment with what it might be like to be someone or something other than who we are. Masks appear everywhere. From each corner of the globe, every culture has their own stylistic approach and uses for masks. By studying them carefully, we can begin to recognize where different masks come from. Sometimes masks are a symbol for something else. Masks can represent good or evil spirits. They can represent the forces of nature. Masks are used in ceremonies to celebrate the arrival of certain seasons. In some cultures, dancers who wear masks during religious rituals believe they are possessed by the spirit the mask represents. Dancers may wear the mask of an animal or tribal deity to convince Mother Nature to provide plenty of food or protection from the elements. In theater, mythical heroes and villains are often represented by masks. These characters, like the Monkey King in China or Nala and Damayanti in India, help to keep traditional stories alive and teach young people the values of a community. Masks can be funny or frightening. Some are beautifully crafted and colorfully painted. Others can be rough and made of found or natural materials. The intent of the mask is to change the person wearing the mask. If only temporarily. Some contemporary artists have been influenced by mask-making traditions. Calixte Dakpogan is an artist from Benin. He's a descendant of the royal blacksmiths of Porto Novo. He uses discarded materials, combining them into clever sculptural forms. He also includes metal, a homage to the Vodun god of iron, Gu, who is the patron of blacksmiths and craftspeople in Benin. Another artist from Benin, Romiad Hasumi, employs the plastic gasoline containers that are used for the illegal transportation of oil from neighboring Nigeria. Like his countryman Calixta, Romiad attaches thrown away objects to these plastic containers to give them a personality that combines references to traditional masks from his country and our 21st century consumer culture. Czech artist Josef Murva uses recycled cardboard to create masks. He wants people who wear them to experience a sensation of transformation. By using a common material and a purposefully rough technique, Josef creates a primitive feeling in his creations. Setting out to design a carpet, designer Bertian Pott discovered that the textiles created natural curves in which he began to see faces. He started to make masks using various yarns in 2010, and his experiments continue to evolve. His use of bright color and inventive shapes created a diverse collection of interesting creatures. These artworks show how artists are inspired by traditional objects. By adding their own creative vision, artists create something new and unique.